Okay, so the purpose of this video is showing you how to get registered out here at this Myopa Math website in case you want to do that extra work or that optional work. So what I've done here in Canvas is uh, not here. That's all my courses. Here we go. I'm, I'm on the this semester's course. And here's the front page. And of course, I'll say it again since I'm making this video. Uh, please, if you need some help, this list is a calendar. You can grab some time with me and then we'll Zoom and it's great. And sometimes, you know, 10, 20 minutes live is worth two hours trying to figure it out on your own. So, so, so I'm here to, I'm here, use me, you want to. Uh, last, this fall or this summer, last summer, not many people did. So I think I had one student that joined me for two or three weeks and then went on their merry way and, and, and they did well in the course. So. I had some people didn't do well that never asked me for help. So don't be one of those people. Okay. I'm here to help. I want to help you. Um, so anyways, let's, I, I digress. Let me get back to about my open math. So if you went to, and I'm hoping you did this, uh, if you read the frequently asked questions, I did that and what to do, uh, things to do before five, five, uh, nine, five. I had this, and on this page, I said, we're just doing out at my open math. And as I said, this is optional. You do not have to do this. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it's a supplement for the web assigned work and the textbook. So you'll need this course ID, and you need this, and you'll need the enrollment key. So let me copy that ID, and I'll, I'll remember that at fall 23, and I'll have this video right here down here. So... Let me come back to an incognito window because I don't want to be logged in. So I'm going to register as a new student because chances are you've never used my open math before. And then I'm going to fill this in. What you're going to need is this. I'll paste in that course key and then this fall 23 is your element key. You'll need to fill in the rest and then click sign up. So I won't show you all that because I know you know how to do that. Okay, so I believe I got some information put in here. I'm going to get the course ID and enrollment key. I mean, if you forget this, you'll have to go ahead and enter that by hand in another place. So do it now, okay? Um, and sign up. And then you're there. So this is what you know, we've enrolled in that course. So now we're going to log in. And I'm going to log in as, as uh, I don't remember what I use now. <laughs> Just a minute. Here. I'll go figure this out. So I got logged in now. Once you get to this page, you do not want to click on enroll in a new course. This is the course you're enrolled in. So click click on that. And then here's what you can do. Now, this is all work that's due for exam one. You do not have to get it done during week one. You do have to get it done before week four when exam when exam one starts. So you if you want to do part of it this week and then do part of it next week and some like, but best best practice is do it as we go so you could do these two things week one do that week three week two and do that one week two and then there's there's the week three one chapter three okay and you can do any some of them again i'm just going to do uh you know try them all get a 70 percent. i'll write it as a 10 point grade uh, just so you see what they look like um here let's do the percentage practice most people get random most of these questions are randomized value so you won't all get the same question so um you start it and yeah first question here you go so that's you do the percent of increase right that's you know so they, they gave us the old price we're getting a getting an increase of 2.1 percent so what will be new salary well you're going to do this times 1.021 right um, i hope that works for you um sometimes you can do a calculation I don't know. Sometimes my open math will let you not have to actually do the actual answer times 1.021. I don't know if that works this time. Uh, doesn't look like it likes it. No, I didn't like it because the times part. So I'd actually have to calculate it. But sometimes you don't have to. Sometimes it'll do it for you. Um, I don't have a calculator right here, so I'm not going to bother doing that. But this is the kind of thing that you get. You get. Uh, Three tries, then you get a new question. They'll show you the answer. See it. So right. What if I do this again? Let's let's. I'm going to get it wrong again. I'm going to go back to this and get it wrong again. And then you see it's there's the answer. 
Um, and then at any point in time, you can get a similar question and start with brand new values, get full credit. Okay, but that's totally up to you what you do. And, and as I said, you know, you can do, try them all, get us get us at least to 70% and you get full credit. Okay, so that's my open math. And I think this will help you um, as you go work through this course. So as I wrote, you know, people that do these questions tend to do really well in the course. So, okay, I guess this is a long enough video. And what, of course, this doesn't, I got to, in order to get this grade into Canvas, I get a hand input it. And I'll often check on Tuesday at the weekends. And so like on Tuesday, the Tuesday, the, I don't have my calendar open to that. Let's see, September. So on Tuesday, the 12th of September, I'll go take a look at my open math. And if you, if you tried it and got the 70, I'll write in a 10 point grade in Canvas. Okay. Um, and I'll do that each week. And, and uh, if I miss something, let me know. Okay, long enough video.